In this video, we're going to talk about how to save and recall configuration files within the ATV320 driveline. And uh, we're using the compact version drive so far, but it should still work the same as the book version. Uh, so first things first, let's go to that menu where you can uh, save settings into the configuration. Now, I'm not talking about where you save into a keypad, I'm talking about saving embedded to the actual drive itself. So from the ready screen, you enter, scroll down to C-O-N-F, enter again, enter on F-C-S dash. And the first thing you want to go ahead and do to save your settings is go to F, uh, excuse me, go to S-C-S-1 the save configuration parameter enter and in here right now um, now is the first option but if you scroll down it will show uh, store uh, one two and that's basically all you really have um, so let's just assume go ahead and we're gonna program it to store number one just to make it easy and press the enter key and I like to hold it down just to make sure here in most cases and basically once the parameter once it throws you back to the parameter scs1 once you let it go then we know that the parameters have been saved to the store configuration number one so here's how you recall the parameters now we're in the same menu as where we need to be under the fcs dash menu but to recall configuration files you need to go up to the um, FCS1 menu uh, parameter. This is the configuration source call. Now, now the next thing you want to go ahead and do here is to go into the. Um, let's go ahead and uh, enter on this parameter first of all. Now, the parameter you want to find for the first configuration is CFG1. Again, this is the re the reason why we're not picking CFG2 is because we didn't save to the second one. We saved to the first configuration file. So if you want to go ahead and pick this, you want to go ahead and press the enter key and then you can hold if you like. Once you let go, it'll go ahead and spit you back out to the FCS1. So that's how really that really works. Um, SCS1 to save fcs1 to recall the parameters and this explains how to save and upload configuration files within the atv 320 driveline with the c suffix